We are told that the reason for the destruction of the second temple was sinas chinam, which is usually translated as baseless hatred, hatred without reason. But you know, the problem is, is that the hatred that seems to be at the root of uh, what occurred that led to the destruction of the temple actually did have a reason. The famous story of Kamsa Bar Kamsa actually turns to a negative feeling that seems to have some basis. That famous story was that there were two individuals with very similar names. One's Kamsa and one's Bar Kamsa. And one was a sworn enemy of a host of a big party and the other one was his host's very good friend. And the host wanted to invite his very good friend to his big party. The invitations got mixed up and it went to a sworn enemy. The sworn enemy shows up at the party, mostly you feeling, hey, this try, try, person's trying to make peace, so forth. Shows up there, the host sees him and says, what are you doing here? Get out of my place. Guy says, "Listen, I'm really sort of to mix up with the with the invitations. I'll pay for my meal. Just let me stay. I don't want to be embarrassed." Who says, "No way. Get out of here. I'll pay for a quarter of the party. Get out. I'll pay for half the party. Get out. No. Offer. I'll pay a whole party. Get out." So the guy is angry, and you know something. You understand why he has putting negative feelings towards that host. Embarrasses in front of all these people, and there are many rabbis there. Embarrass, embarrass them in front of all these rabbis. So what does this guy do? He says, I'm going to get back at the Jewish people. I'm going to get back at them. He goes to the emperor of Rome and says, you know, the Jewish people are planning a rebellion. And I'll prove it to you. If you send an animal to be sacrificed in the temple, in the Jewish temple, they will reject it. Why? Because they'll be afraid that the offering you will bring to their god will put you in good light with their God and they don't want that because they're planning a rebellion so they want they want to make sure you're not in good you're not in good side of, of, of God so the, Ro the Roman Emperor says that no problem okay we'll see so he sends the animal and what this guy did is he made a blemish on the animal that would not prevent this animal from being sacrificed in idolatrous, in idolatrous worship but it prevented this animal from being sacrificed in a temple so the animal wasn't sacrificed so what occurred? For all, the emperor took it as, as indication that the Jews are planning to rebel, and it eventually led to destruction of the second temple. But you can't call that baseless hatred. You can challenge hatred. You can say having such negative feelings are wrong, but you can't say these negative feelings where they never reason. See, the point is a lot of people think even hatred is wrong. Hatred is categorically wrong. But you know something? Negative feelings sometimes have a reason. We are told we're supposed to hate. The enemies of, a, of God, so to have negative people to people, negative things towards people who are truly evil. The point is, is, is that really what we're having with these negative things is we have to know what we do with our hatred. See, sinus chinam is not baseless hatred. Sinus chinam is purposeless hatred. We have negative feelings. We have feelings that are caused in our in, 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 with our with our friends, with our acquaintances, that cause us to be upset. What do you do with those feelings? You can't just say, oh, just don't feel them. Because you know when you do that, you're ignoring them. And the point is, is you're supposed to take those feelings and do something with them. What are you supposed to do with them? Go up and say to your friend that I'm upset with you. You did something wrong. And you know what will come out of that? In the end, you may have to apologize. You may say, I'm really angry at you, and he'll come out, well, and, and the guy will come out and say, you know something, but I'm angry, but, but the reason I did that is because you did something to me, and will come out that you end up apologizing. And all the anger came about from something that you did. All the negative feelings you started. The point is, is, is that when we feel negative feelings, we're not just supposed to stand in it. For sure we're not supposed to ignore them. We're not supposed to hide it over and smile when deep in our heart we're really not liking another person we're supposed to do is tell the other person hey I'm upset with you for this reason and then you hear what comes out of it it begins a dialogue and that dialogue leads to positive conclusions proper conclusions that's the challenge of Sinus Chinam we cannot allow purposeless hatred to exist we have to enter dialogue and grow